Sorry, it's been a while. I have been busy in both real life and Minecraft. I've started sorting out my storage so I'm not living out of chests outside. And let's get down. I've worked on my interior a little bit. Um, it's getting dark, so let's quickly sleep. And so yeah, this is the bedroom. Got some bookshelves around. A little bit of bedside storage with important things that I'll need in the future. I'm going to make a little pond for my axolotl. Just some random bits in there. And as you'll see, I've still got some diamond things. But with my busyness, I have collected some netherite ingots. So let's go through the rest of the house and I will show you. This is a map of the area. There's my little base there. There's Breakenberry. There's Fezzy. Over here is Spawn with the central nether portal. Oh wait, let's, let's close these doors. I wasn't raised in a barn. And we'll head downstairs. And this is all I've got up to so far for the interior here. Us here, we will upgrade speedy boys. Upgrade my chest. No, not with my legs, I can't do that. And my shovel. Grab, grab my legs again. Nope, nope. And we are back. We're back to being full netherite. So boop, 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 boop. If we head out, we'll see. It's much clearer. I have a little farm area now so I can gather crops. Because what I've been working on in here is a villager trading hall. This took forever. But I have... One librarian for each of the items that I would ever need. Let's still touch. Sweeping edge, fortune, etc. With this server being on normal, it's not worth infecting them with zombies to heal them up to try and reduce their trades. So I spend hours before work and after work, whenever I could, just trying to get the best choice I could. Like I have five emeralds for infinity, that'll do me fine. And we've got our pumpkin and melon traders, which are the best trades I've got, to be fair. Later on in the episode, I'm going to seal up this area and create a doorway here. But for now, I'm going to do something I've never done, which is take on the dragon. I've done it in creative, which is, you know, super cheaty. Eh? But we're going to meet up with some people on the server, such as Nacho, who is down here. And a few of us, we're going to take it on. And it's getting dark again, so let's, let's go to bed. And when I wake up, we'll meet up with everyone. My God, am I smart? No. Is it proven? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Look at this smart person right here. It's called a bee, apparently, because I didn't name it. What's called a bee? The, the bow. Oh, okay. <laughs> A b, a b, just a b. We're all at the portal. Oh, we're the main one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See you like looking at that portal, and then you just turned around. So we said that. The... I don't see one that like has gravitas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need the dramas, Ben. Ooh, advancements. It's a... Did I put beds? Yeah. I did put beds. There's no pink bed though, so I need to fix that. Are we all ready? Are we entering? I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna push someone in. Into I the unknown! Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Guys, I'm dying! Wait, you what? Why are you dying? End. Whoa. Who's already dead? Oh, wow. Uh, hi, Breaking Berry. What are you doing down there? Uh, trying not to die. <laughs> this is why I said we need building blocks just in case we have a bad spawn. That was the worst spawn because I literally got kicked off the edge. And... Yeah, same, immediately. It's kind of weird actually being at the end and not just seeing it on like YouTube. It's I, like genuinely a very strange experience. Ah, oh. oh, the Endermen's are hating me. Please, no. Ah, mom, I'm being attacked by Endermen. Please get come off my Come to me, arm. come to me. Yeah, no, kill, no, kill, no. Ah. 
Yep. That's Eight. all of my inventory gone. Already? I fell off the edge. Oh, oh my god. No. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I walked backwards. Oh, someone. Fez, no! Come back! Fez, Fez, back under, under here. Under, under here, Fez. We, we've got an uh, Enderman safety area. Oh, there's so many noises. Oh, so how many? Wait, yep. you guys do that. I'm, I'm going to run around ah. and kill the things. What things? The, um, the things on the now. towers. E. Uh, Sweet. Uh, Oh, are you ready to go in? Oh no no no! Oh god! Already? Are you kidding? GG. I don't know if I brought enough scaffolding. I accidentally ate an apple. Oh no! I can see all my stuff, but there's so much juice. <laughs> Stupid traps. Oh. So, uh, what do I do now I have no inventory? Uh, um, come anyway, you know? Yeah, why not? Oh, we've nearly got rid of them all. <gasps> oh my god. Thank god for feather falling. I nearly died. What happened? You've oh, got a tall sake. boyfriend. He's oh, really coming at tragic. you. Okay, it's cool. I'm gonna try and get underneath the... the yeah. Get into the water! <laughs> get into the water. It won't go in water. That's cool. Get I'm under. in the little space and then I'll deal with it here. Thanks for the warning. Oh, Fezzy, no! I, I went to hit him with my... I, I went to punch him with my fist. Um, it really went well. Um, have we got rid of all the... I think, I think so. Oh, it's not healing. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Uh, dragon's coming down. Oh, he angry. He angry, he angry. Oh, no. I feel like I've not done any damage to it. Let's, let's get in there. It's up to you, Regan. Watch out. He's behind you. with arrows when it's down. It's over here. I... Oh no, oh, I'm being attacked by an Enderman. Here. Spencer looked. Oh, why are they so angry all the time? Hey, what happens when we take the egg? Can we make a dragon at our house? We just make like a really big omelette. Oh, excellent. Very cool. Wait, do you get the um, achievement just for holding it? Uh, I think you do. 
Yay! Yeah. Oh. Everyone can pass I have the egg a... around. Can I have a hold? Blech. Oh, it's so cute. Yay! Like some eggy goodness. Yeah, there you go. There's your egg. One eggy! Oh. Hey! Uh, We're all egged up. So what now? That's it, we've done. We've completed Minecraft. Hey, that's the first time I ever defeated the dragon. Let's jump in and complete. Oh, also, who got the last hit on the dragon? I think it was Spencer. Oh, it was me, yeah. Nice. Ah. I ran in with a sword. And ch -ch -ch -ch. Spencer, you get the surprise prize. <gasps> the surprise prize? Yes. Surprise, surprise, prize. Uh, you win the boat. What? <laughs> Why? Do, I, I was building the boat to give us a surprise prize to whoever got the the last hit. You win the boat. Ooh. So cool, sir. That means I can set it on fire. <gasps> no! <laughs> You're not allowed to set it on fire, or else I'll delete you. You can set it on fire. Technically, it is their oh boat. Oh my god, it is their boat. You're right. It's made out of wool as well. That is nasty behaviour. But I'll allow it because Nacho says it's okay, and they did build it. So there we go, I've defeated the dragon for the first time in survival Minecraft and I'm now the proud owner of this ship. Obviously I'm not really going to burn it down, but if you have any suggestions of what I can do with it, leave them in the comments for me, that'd be great. But right now we're going to go do the door from a villager trading hall. So I'll see you over there. Here we are. We have everything we need in this barrel and the first thing we should tackle is the actual doorway. First thing is add six sticky pistons like that, two more that way, and then we add in the wall pieces. So this will come out and push forward, that one will come out and close there. Then on here we will run the redstone line. So this is where a redstone will go. We need three across the top, which will power the, th the three back pistons. Then we need that to run down so we can send power up here. And a redstone repeater just there with one tick added. When we power it, that has closed it. And get rid of the power. It's open. So that is the door. The next part though is we're going to add an item filter here. Make a bit oops. Hello. Did not mean to drop down there. Let's let's make a little bit more space down here. We need to add a comparator here, which will then send a signal out onto this block. Which will come down onto that block, head through a redstone repeater, and out into this torch. We need to remove that so the power can actually go down onto that block, gets seen by that into here, because that is for a hopper there. That locks the hopper, making it so that nothing will go through except for the item that we put in there. So we're going to add a key and then we're also going to have another hopper here facing into that comparator. And in there we'll add some filler snow, another key. And now if we try to chuck something in, it just, it doesn't go in at all. But if we have our key we've made, Goes straight in and makes its way down the hoppers. So we're going to get these hoppers going all the way down to the other side. Go all the way down, except for that one and that one. So this will come through into there, sending it all the way down to so make its way here into this dropper, then another dropper. 
and boop, and it'll pop out here. So what we want to do from here is when it actually passes through this, we want to bring out another signal into a redstone repeater. So I've, I've done this the wrong way around. <laughs> Never claimed to be good at redstone. <laughs> In that there, that there, one there, one there, and one there. All right, compare to there. Some redstone dust, redstone dust, repeater going into that block, and a torch to lock the hopper. Then another hopper going into that comparator. Add the filler, put a key in, because what we want to do is we want to run some redstone off of this hopper without interference from this. So when the book passes it, we want it to read the signal, pass it through that, and then from there we need to open the door. It'll come out, it's going to go along here. It's got to make its way up to that, so... It's going to come out along this. Make its way up. And over, and to that. But before it reaches there, we do need it to go into another circuit, which is the hopper clock. So I'll grab some more wool, just for this area. So this is a clock area. What we need is, this comes into there, which has power coming off of it. That's how we make sure that the doors are constantly closed. Until... Oops. until this clock actually tells this to open. And we do that by adding a comparator and a repeater here. So you want to add 14 redstone dust in there. So it's just the right amount of time for the door to open and us to get through to the other side. Let's give it a test. Grab a book, chuck it in. There we go, it opens up. You can get through and then it closes. We will need a way to open it from this side. I'm thinking of just adding a button somewhere. But the last main bit of redstone we need to do here is to get these droppers to dispense the book on the other side. So we want it so when the book lands in there, it sends a signal out, the comparator picks it up, it sends it into a full signal with the repeater, send a signal round like that to create a clock. So you need a observer looking down at this piece of redstone. <laughs> like so. We want one looking at it this way as well. Then we'll lock it into that. So now when the key goes in, it sends a pulse out and then it comes through the other side. So, I want to add a button there. Add a repeat there, it won't affect that, it'll come down and out and round, make it sway this way, ah, make it sway that way, there, let's give it a try, it goes in, we walk through, the book comes back out and it closes, press that, reopens, we make our way through, and it closes. And the good thing about that is now I should be able to relight my portal. Yes. Chuck the book in, opens up, and we're through. So there we go.
we have a way to get into the trading hall using a secure key card. We no longer have to break the portal to get into it. So as always, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. Bye.